In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Julisa, the church, welcomes you and joins your parents and your friends in celebrating with you your 15th birthday. This celebration should be in thanksgiving for having received life, as well as acceptance for what life brings when lived according to the love and according to the commandments of God. Living means growing, and growing means maturing. A mature person is one who is capable of making decisions, making promises, and being true to them, even if it's sometimes difficult to keep them. In this spirit of faith, then, let us put ourselves in God's presence in order to reflect on the need of his divine mercy and ask him for his forgiveness of our sins. You sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You come to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Holy Father, we ask you to look kindly on your daughter, Julisa, here at your altar. She has come to celebrate the life you have given her through the holy union of our parents. Strengthen her in that faith which has brought her here. Through the gift of your Holy Spirit, guide her way through life. As you guided your favorite daughter, the Virgin Mary, so may this young lady be always pleasing to you and inspire others to know, love, and serve you through the Christian life she fully lives. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We get seated for the readings. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The word of the Lord came to me thus, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I dedicated you. A prophet to the nations, I appointed you. 
Ah, Lord God, I said, I not know how to speak. I'm too young. But the Lord answered me, say not, I am too young. To whom I send you, you shall go. Whatever I command you, you shall speak. Have no fear before them, because I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Then the Lord extended his hand and touched my mouth, saying, See, I place my words in your mouth. This day I set you over nations and over kingdoms to root up and to tear down, to destroy and to demolish, and to build and to plant. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. I saw
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Luke chapter 1, verses 46 to 56. Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked upon his lowly servant. From this day, all generation will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. Yes, mercy on those who fear him. In every generation, he has shown strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones. He has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the angry with good things. The rich has sent away empty. He has come to help his servants Israel, for he remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and to his children forever. Mary remained with Elizabeth about three months and then returned to her home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We get seated. Brothers and sisters in Christ, we are here today to celebrate the 15th birthday of our sister in Christ, our daughter, Yuliza, the great celebration of King Sinera. We are here to give thanks, praise, and honor to God for the gift of our life since our coming into this world. And as we celebrate this day, we really want to thank our parents for investing in her, for taking care of her, and for also organizing for this day. I believe this is one of the happiest days of Julissa. If you can touch a heart now, the heart is just like boom, 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 boom. She was waiting for this day. And it is a great honor to, for the parents to prepare a day like this, this great celebration of quinceanera with very rich meaning. We thank God for this day as she commit herself to serve God and to serve the, all the brothers and sisters in Christ. This is actually a day of renewal of our commitment to God. This is what's more important. It's a day of renewal of our commitment to God. It is the renewal of our life of faith. Leave other celebration outside, but this is more the core of this day, the commitment, the renewal of the promises she made to God when she embraced the faith. So let us continue to guide her, to accompany her, to support her in this journey of life, in this journey of faith, that she may be committed, just like Our Lady was committed to the Lord, If you hear the gospel, Mary proclaims the greatness of the Lord in her life. She says, my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. So this is actually, this will be exactly the words of Julissa at this moment. And that's why I'm putting the vestment on of Our Lady of Guadalupe, because we are committing her to the Lord through the intercession of Our Lady, especially Our Lady of Guadalupe. So, Julissa, every time you feel challenged, always remember this day, remember this short African priest who was here this day with the vestment of Our Lady of Guadalupe. 
This is where you will draw all your strength. So as we join you listen in our joy and in our thanksgiving of this day, let us also commend her to God's protection, to God's blessings, and to God's guidance through the intercession of Our Lady, through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of our Lord Jesus Christ and our Mother. So I say congratulations to Julisa on this day of Sua Quinceanera, and thank you the parents for organizing for this day, and we want to wish Julisa many, many more good years of health, of mind and body in life, as she commit herself to God and to the service of God's people in the vineyard of the Lord. Let us arise to give our prayers to God. Let us stand for the prayers of the faithful. We commend our cares and concerns to God through the person of Christ saying, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. The one who's taking the prayer of the session can come. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Bishop Thomas, our pastor, Father Hans, and all those who have dedicated their life to the service of God's people, that they may continue to follow faithfully their vocations. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. prayers. For our civic rulers, that they may perform their duties with justice and compassion for the good of all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayers. prayers. Julissa, who is celebrating her birthday today, that she may continue with happiness and generosity in the way of the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord your Lord. prayers. For the parents, grandparents, and godparents of Julissa, that they may continue to enjoy the fruit of her love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord your, your prayers. prayers. For the youth, particularly the faith companions of Julissa, that they may have the necessary strength to live according to their Christian principles. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord your prayers. prayers. For the sick and the poor in our community, that they may experience God's love for them as those around them respond to their needs. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord your prayers. prayers. For our faithfully <laughs> departed, that they may enjoy the vision of God in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord your, your prayers. prayers. For all of our personal intentions that are deep in our hearts and for all those for whom we should pray, that they may receive the graces they need, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord your, your prayers. prayers. Loving Creator, we come before you with faith and love to, pro to praise your goodness and to acknowledge our needs. We ask you to hear the prayers we make in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. Get seated.
May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Let us pray. Holy Father, we place the gifts of bread and wine on the altar. They are the offerings which you ask us to offer for the Eucharistic sacrifice. We offer them to you with the firm hope that your Holy Spirit will transform them into the body and blood of Jesus Christ, your beloved Son. Together with them, we present this young lady, Eliza, your creation. May the offering she has made to you of her youth be pleasing to you and hand for her a continual glory in faith and love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises has nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in the company with the angels, with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God. get seated or you can kneel for those who will have time to kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts, we pray, for sending down your spirit upon them like the default, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice in one small 
giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray. That partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring out to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Thomas, our bishop, Edward, his auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. Gathered here today, we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, our spouse, and the blessed pastors, St. Clare of Assisi, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through you, man, with you, man, in him, our God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the service command and found by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, allow be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth that is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, but the, that by the help of your mercy, we may bowl us free from sin and save from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your pastors, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on us, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Take away the sins of 
Let us pray. Lord, faithful to your command, we have just shared joyfully in this Eucharistic banquet. It is the sign of our unity with you and with all our brothers and sisters. Now, as we leave your temple to celebrate another banquet, we ask you and your Holy Mother to accompany us in this fiesta as you attended the wedding feasts in Cana. Keep us strong in faith, full of hope in your grace, and united in true love. We ask this, we ask you this, who lives and reigns with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. 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 It is now act of thanksgiving and a personal commitment to lead a Catholic life. So I will invite Ulisa to come forward and to kneel on the kneeler there as she recites a very beautiful prayer of thanksgiving and commitment. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the gift of life, for creating me in your image and likeness, and for calling me to be your daughter through baptism. Thank you for sending your Son, Jesus, to save me, and your Holy Spirit to sanctify me. To that which in your goodness and love, you will for me, I say yes. With the grace, I commit myself to serve my brothers and sisters all my life. Mary, Mother of Jesus, and our Mother, I dedicate myself to you. Since you are my model of faith, help me to continue learning from you what I need to be a Christian woman. Help me to hear the word of God as you did, holding it in my heart and loving others, so that as I walk with Jesus in this life, I may worship him with you in all eternity. Amen. Uh, may God, who has begun this good work in you, bring it to completion. Amen.
It's now time for Julissa to take a bunker of flowers to the image of the Blessed Virgin Mary. I now invite the parents or the godparents or the sponsor to bring the religious uh, article of faith to or gifts to give to Melissa and then we shall also bless them as well. can raise them high so that we bless them. God our Father, we call upon your blessings upon these religious articles of faith and prayer as we give them to our sister in Christ, our daughter, Julissa. May she use to praise you, to meditate your mysteries, and to glorify your name. Make this religious article of faith as a symbol of our commitment to you and make them holy. May your blessings come upon this religious article of faith in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Okay, you can crown her. Special blessing for Julissa. 
Lord God, you created all the people of the world, and you know each of us by name. We thank you for the gift of Ulyssa, who today celebrates her 15th birthday. Bless her with your love and friendship, that she may grow in wisdom, knowledge, and grace. May she love our family always and be faithful to our friends. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We give a very big love and congratulations to Melissa for this great day of our quinceanera. Once again, we say congratulations to Julissa for your great day of quinceanera. I know this day will eternally remain in your memory forever because it's a great day, great step in life. We promise to keep you in our prayers. All these people who have come here, they have come to pray for you, to wish you well. So don't let them down. Let them be proud of you, as we are proud of you this day of your quinceanera. We thank the parents for all the arrangements and continue investing in her and make sure she has a bright future and she's successful in life. Let us stand for the final blessing. May God, who in this providence wanted to save all humanity through his son, shower you with his blessings. Amen. That he always grant you the protection of the Virgin Mary, through whom you have received the order of life. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. The masses and dead go in peace. Thanks be to God. Thank you all of you and have a wonderful celebration of party two of this. Thank you. God bless you all. Joyful.